for someone to tell us where it is. Where it is, isn't that an old story? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds familiar to me. Well, apparently only one person knows where it is. What, in the whole place? Not here. One person who organised it. Nothing with missing structures, I've let any ravers in. Any ravers? So, so, do I look like a raver? Yes. Even do though I've given to you all my clothes. That's made boy Dana, that's. If I take my cuff off, I'll let you in. Yeah, David. <laughs> Sorry, no. Can I go to the toilet? No. Sorry, you're not using the window garbage. So, what's it? Only people without brand names on their shirts, yeah? Is there any people without brand names on their shirts, is it? Without oh, feeler written on the things? I've got no brand names. Yeah, I mean, he's a rover. How do you distinguish the name of them? I reckon, I reckon you're a raver. Yeah, it's funny when I'm off you. Exactly. Come on, you're just jealous because you got to work tonight. Yeah, what's the actual reason then? You turn up in such your numbers that fight to stop this. Yeah, all right, there's regular customs away. Such as coaches, which will do in any minute. But we're still as well, though. Yeah, I know you are. But they're still Nothing willing to spend money, yeah, do you think? Yeah, we take instructions off them. How many is the same as everyone else? I take okay. instructions off her. If she doesn't want people let in, I've got to stop her. Yeah. Wait, just try and get in anyway. Go and smack him down. <laughs> I love travelling. I love moving. I couldn't handle being in one place for too long. I love moving around the country and having a good time. And there's always that feeling of you're on the move, where am I going next? It's exciting, you know? I couldn't handle being stuck in one place doing the same thing over and over again every day, knowing that I'm going to be doing that for the next 15 years or whatever. I have to have that feeling inside me that I'm going to get somewhere, that I'm going somewhere, not that I'm just going to be here for ages, you know? If I was sitting here now thinking, God, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to have to be here now for the next three years, I think I'd burst into tears. But the, the exciting thing about it is as well, if you're moving around the country and you go from place to place to place, you see people say, you know, three times a year or whatever, then it's it fun when you see them, they're pleased to see you and you're pleased to see them. Whereas if you were with them all the time, that friendship would just die, you know? I love going to Glastonbury, seeing all my mates again, but it's much more fun me going there now and again, seeing them now and again, and really having a good time while I'm there. If I lived there, it's driving me bloody balmy. <laughs> by not insisting that she goes to school and by not insisting that she has to live my way and by not, you know, tying her up and saying, you know, you are my daughter, this is the way you must be. She's always been her own person. Quite hard. I could cross it. It's something's egg, isn't it? A lot of little legs in there, looks like. I wouldn't touch Stuck it. Stuck on I'd the leaf. Careful. It might be cancerous. There's a massive one! The way the planet is going upsets me. Because the planet, the Mother Earth, let's call it Mother Earth, right? Is, 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 is us. We are part of Mother Earth. We're living here. We don't pay rent. Do we pay rent to live on Mother Earth? No. We don't pay rent. We build houses, you know, 
we, we're destroying our source of, energy, of our life. Human beings are sitting on a branch and they're soaring it off. We're destroying the earth to get money. What for? What's money? Money isn't going to be a use to us when we're all dead, is it? feel very well and I've been, I haven't been very well. So I haven't done much videoing because I've had a cold and a cough. And I've had a cough because I'm giving up smoking, which means that all the shit that's in my lungs is going to come out. Whew, so cold here, Pitt and West. Absolutely fucking I took it because I wanted to know what it was like. And the first time I took it, I was a bit freaked out because I get quite claustrophobic and I was a bit freaked out. But, you know, I wasn't freaked out to the extent where I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. I was just a bit, you know, a bit sort of, you know, what's going on then? Raves and ecstasy have become a bit of a trend. But all those little people out there that are being pulled into that, that trend, They've got to experience it to know what it's like. It's like the 60s and acid. But there's the other side of it. It's bad for your eyesight. It ruins your spine. It, when you come down, you feel so shit that you might as well have not taken it in the first place. It's very hard to see which way things are going, all the prophecies about things might just, you know, stop electricity and, and all that might just stop and then our way of life is viable. But... On the other hand, we might be a handful of diehards that, who knows, who knows, it's growing. It's a growing movement of people, a rainbow tribe that's growing and spreading in the world. Just ordinary folk, really, ordinary people going for life. Old age travelers coping with new age travelers as children, the children. about not going 
going to school, which is really nice, is that you can work, like, when you want to work, and do, you can drink tea and eat and do anything you want to whilst you're doing, and you haven't got somebody peering over you. So it's good fun. Work should be made good fun, and they should make kids want to do it, rather than make them despise going to school.